Amelia here from Study in Australia TV. In this Professional Bodies episode, we're going to talk about study discipline information, relevant professional bodies and career options across architecture, building design and construction programs. We'll give you an overview of programs in these areas, what professional associations are relevant to those programs, and what career pathways and job opportunities are available in Australia if you stay on after your studies and access the post-study work visa. The program information we'll cover is general in nature, so it can vary slightly between universities, but we can help you with any program choices if you're not sure. For this information, we'll give you a good overview of the areas you can study in Australia and what career or job it may lead to in architecture, building design and construction industries. Architecture programs in Australia are devised in collaboration with the Australian Institute of Architects and building programs developed with the Australian Institute of Building or AIB. Specialisations available in this discipline area include architecture, interior architecture, building design, building surveying, construction management, environmental planning, landscape design, interior design, project management, town planning, and urban and regional planning. Australia has four universities in the top 50 for their architecture and built environment programs according to the 2021 QS World University rankings by subject. Architecture combines the creative design and technical knowledge to create sustainable built environments. Architectural design is about understanding landscapes and the way humans create places within this environment, which includes landscape architecture, urban design, and structural works in our societies. To work as an architect, students must complete five years of architectural study, which in most universities is split between a three-year undergraduate degree in architectural studies and then a two-year master of architecture. There is also a practical work requirement before registration is granted by the Australian Institute of Architects. A similar pathway applies for landscape architects, with the completion of the three-year Bachelor of Architectural Studies, followed by the Master of Landscape Architecture. Interior architecture is an allied field that specifically focuses on the design, documentation, management, and the implementation of interior spaces. Interior designers find work in architectural practices, interior design practices, and building companies. Project management of building works is very important for the successful design and building of a project, both from a time and money perspective. Project managers are expected to take charge of complex tasks and keep the building progress on track and on budget. All of these skill areas culminate with the actual building of the project, known as construction management. Building construction is a complex, highly organised commercial industry and graduates can work professionally in quantity or building surveying, construction management, building technology, building structures, building surveying and housing. Overarching all of these is the urban and regional planning aspect of the town planning. Planners shape cities, towns and regions through the management of development, infrastructure and services for improved quality of life and sustainable environments. This also incorporates transport planning and management and environmental planning. There are many aligned programs in the architecture, building and planning fields across VET, undergraduate and postgraduate levels. The VET sector offers programs in specific trades associated with the building construction industry. These are offered as traditional programs as well as through traineeships where students learn on the job. Examples of programs offered at this level include Certificate 4 in Building and Construction Diploma of Building Design Diploma of Interior Design Diploma of Landscape Design and Advanced Diploma of Building Design Examples of undergraduate level programs in architecture, design and building include Bachelor of Architectural Studies Bachelor of Building Bachelor of Construction Management, Bachelor of Design in Landscape Architecture, Bachelor of Project Management, Bachelor of Technology in Construction, Bachelor of Technology in Innovation, Bachelor of Town Planning, and Bachelor of Urban and Regional Planning. Examples of postgraduate programs in architecture, design, and building include Master of Architecture, Master of Construction Management, Master of Landscape Architecture, Master of Property Development and Planning, Master of Project Management, Master of Regional Development, and Master of Urban Design. Accreditation as an architect in Australia requires registration with the Architects Accreditation Council of Australia, or AACA. The AACA sets out a national standard of competency for architects, which describes what is reasonably expected of a person who can demonstrate the standard of skill, care, and diligence widely accepted in Australia as a competent and professional architect. 
Having one standard that underpins accreditation of architecture education and assessment programs provides a clear roadmap for the development of competency on the path to registration as an architect. The most common pathway to registration is completion of an accredited Australian architecture qualification, followed by the architectural practice examination. The three-part practice examination consists of completion of a logbook, a written paper and an interview with current practicing architects. Details of this accreditation can be found on the AACA website. Graduates must also obtain at least two years work experience in the industry and then register with the relevant state or territory's architects registration board. You'll need to be registered individually and in most states and territories, your architecture firm will need to be registered as an entity too. For build or quantity surveying, the accreditation authority is the Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors. AIQS is the peak professional standards body for quantity surveyors and other built environmental cost professionals. There are a number of different memberships depending on the level of experience, ranging from student, graduate, affiliate to member grade registration. Details can be found on their website. Graduates in architecture, design and building may also be eligible for membership of one of the following professional bodies. For architecture, there's the Australian Institute of Architects or AIA the Australian Institute of Landscape Architects, or AILA, the Commonwealth Association of Architects, or CAA, or the Design Institute of Australia, or DIA. For building graduates, there's the Australian Institute of Building, or AIB, the Australian Institute of Building Surveyors, or AIBS, the Australian Institute of Quantity Surveyors, or AIQS, Master Builders of Australia, or MBA, and the National Association of Women in Construction, or NAWIC. Job opportunities in Australia and architecture are great at the moment, with over 6,000 jobs advertised for architects on seat and a projected job growth of 17.5% in the next five years. So it's expected there will be continued demand for architects. The average salary for an architect in Australia is $80,000, but depending on experience, some architects can earn up to $130,000. Job opportunities in Australia for quantity surveyors are good, with over 250 jobs advertised for quantity surveyors on seat and a projected job growth of 13.8% in the next five years. The most common salary for a quantity surveyor in Australia is $100,000, but depending on experience, some quantity surveyors can earn up to $140,000. Job opportunities for interior designers in Australia are also quite good, with over 200 jobs advertised on SEEK and a projected job growth of 16.2% in the next five years. The most common salary for an interior designer in Australia is $70,000, but depending on experience, some people can earn up to $90,000. Job opportunities for urban planners in Australia are reasonable, with over 90 jobs advertised on SEEK and a projected job growth of 13.8% in the next five years. The most common salary for an urban planner in Australia is $80,000. Job opportunities for construction managers in Australia are great, with over 1,000 jobs advertised on SEEK and a projected job growth of 12% in the next five years. The salary range is quite broad for construction managers, ranging from $130,000 to $200,000 per annum, depending on experience and the building organisation. I hope you found this information on the architecture, building design and construction industry helpful. This information we've compiled and presented by Study in Australia TV is not legal advice. So, we'd recommend that you seek further information from the professional bodies directly, or alternatively, our team can provide general assistance. Let us know if you need any help with your study choice or professional membership. We're always happy to help. Stay tuned for more professional body information for other study discipline areas that can lead to excellent work experience in Australia. Bye for now.